Hey everybody, welcome back to Boomerangs by Vic. Okay, so pretty fun, exciting video I have for you today. Um, new boomerang design to show you and a product review. So this will actually be my last product review that you will probably see on my channel except for my own boomerang products. So first let's start off with this new design. This is called Warrior's Sin. It's a brand new boomerang that I just built uh, last week. Um, has a very fun flight and I'm going to show you the flight of this boomerang in my next video. I just wanted to show you the, the boomerang. And from now on on this channel, you every pretty much every video you see is going to be of a new design with a new flight. So stick around everybody and I'm going to start doing uh, boomerang giveaways again as well. So keep an eye out for my next video. So you'll need to subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications if you want to uh, be a part of that fun experience. We're going back to the old Vic. Okay, so today um, you're going to also see in this video a review of Play's V8 engine. Me and my daughter sat down and we put this together. It took us a little over an hour, I think almost two hours actually, to, to do the entire thing and it was so fun. So sit back, watch, and enjoy. I am doing a product review today with my youngest daughter, Lily. Hello. Lily is, how old are you? Did you forget how old I am? I didn't forget how old you are. 13. She's 13 years old and I'm older. Um, <clears throat> today we're going to be putting together from the company Plays, which I'm sure everybody's familiar with, the V8 model engine. <clears throat> so let's give you a close up of what this is. There's a lot of pieces in here, 270 pieces to be exact. Um, I don't think it'll be too awful hard. I'm used to putting stuff together. My daughter Lily is too. She's very crafty. Question, what is it? What's that? What is it? What is this? This is an engine that would be inside of a vehicle. Only it's a small version. And this would be like a larger size, more like the V8. It's not oh, a geez. it's not a four-cylinder or a V6. This is seems to be like an old school type V8 engine. So this should actually be really fun. Let's see how long it takes us to put together 270 pieces. Um, everything's in here. Looks like it's packaged very well. Nothing looks like it's out of place. Uh, nothing really looks damaged. Everything looks pretty good, I would say, right? Mm -hmm. um, so let's go ahead and take stuff out and we'll just separate. So as you can see here, we've organized all the parts. Um, we're going to go through the book right now, which pretty much tells us how an engine runs in the first part of the book. You can see here. These are all your parts. Make sure that you do have everything. We've already moved everything from the, uh, from the trays. Um, we're going to get started right here with number one. And in number one, they want us to put the pistons together. So you're going to want to grab two of these. It doesn't matter which one. And you're going to want to grab one of these. Okay. And you're going to want to grab one of these. Now for the first part you're going to have to do is all these parts that you took off if you look really close, you can see, let me see if I can show it in the, in the camera. That has little pieces of burrs of plastic on it that you're going to need to remove with a small piece of sandpaper if you have it at home. The opposite side is very smooth because it wasn't attached to any of those plastic trays that you had to twist them off. So you are going to have to sand those little bit of edges. Can I see your sandpaper for a sec, Lil? Yeah. With this sandpaper. So you feel the burr and just sand those little edges off. Because if you don't, these pieces are not going to fit inside of the piston, okay? So I just sanded it. It went in good now. Before, that would not go in. Oh, that would not go in the hole. Oh, we got close air. So yeah, and you do want them to spin. Once you get in there, it should spin too. See, if it's not spinning, then you want to sand it just a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to put a... Let me sand this one just a little bit more first. I'm gonna wrap it right around like that. Okay, we're going to put one of these together right now. Okay, so the first thing they want you to do is put that little pin inside of here. See how that goes back and forth? Okay. Then you're going to take one side of the piston and you're going to put it inside of this hole. 
okay? Make sure it goes in. And then you need to go get the other half, which is right here. Whoop, butterfingers. And you're gonna put this other half over the top and clamp them together. Pretty much like that. All right, and we have one completed piston. Okay, so we're gonna do the rest right now. So for the next part, you can see here's number two. I have a hair in my eye, good timing. They want us to get the camshaft, and that would be this long plastic piece. And we're going to connect what we just put together, the pistons, we're gonna connect them to this. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna take one of your pistons, and all along here, there's, two, there's a spot to put two. So one's going to go here, another one's going to go next to it, another one's going to go here, here. So you have two, four, six, eight. And you put together eight of these. So we're going to put this on here. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm putting it on here, and I'm going to roll it around, and I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to hold that with one hand. Then we're going to take a cap, and we're going to put that over the top. Okay, you see where it's going to sandwich? And then we're going to need the, the tiniest screws that you have, okay? There's, there's uh, two different sizes. Grab the bag that has the tiniest ones, and you're going to need 16 of these in total. So, Lily, if you will, I'm going to go ahead and put one of these screws in this hole. Let's see if Lily can turn that down in. Go ahead. And turn it clockwise. Oh, yeah, use both hands if you need to. There you go. Yep. Try to get that hand out of camera view. There you go. Perfect. There you go. She's going to turn that down in as tight as she can. Okay, that's good for now. Let's do the other side. Grab another screw. I'm going to put that in the other side of the piston. Okay, go ahead and turn that one down in. There you go, push down nice and hard. All right, that's pretty good, Lil. Hang on, one get there. All right, so once the piston is on, you can see it, it can freely swing back and forth. So now we're gonna take a pause and we're gonna take time to do the rest of these all the way across, okay? So everybody follow along. We just got this put together and we are about to put it inside of here. So the first thing you want to do before it's even going to go down into the block is, hold, you can hang on to it right there, is you want to make sure these are in the right spot. So right now mine are actually reversed. So I get to put, make it so that, hold on just a second. Yeah, now mine is correct. Make it so that the piston that's on the right hand side of, the, of each of these spots, the one on the right has to be facing uh, in this direction. And the one on the left is going to be going in that direction. That's the only way that these are going to drop into the block. So I'm going to take and drop these in right now inside the block, which was the next part of our instructions. So let's see how tricky this is. Um, actually, let me tilt it, tilt it just like that, Lil. Okay, and I'm going to actually try and put there yeah, that side's in. This side's almost in. There we go. I think we got it. Yes, we did get it. So let me turn it around. And if you can see here, it's functioning. Pistons are going in and out. All right, we've got it all in. Okay, so something you wanna pay attention to before you put this down in, make sure that this stem is sticking out of this side of the block, the, the side of the block that has um, one, two, three, four, five pins. If you notice on this side, there's only three. So make sure the long stem is coming out of the side that has the most. And then after that, you're gonna set it down and then this is gonna go on top of here. And you'll know which side because this side only has two pins, this side has multiples. So the side with two pins, with the prongs 
sticking up is going to go right down over the top of this. Right here. We'll see if it bottoms out. And it does bottom out. Yep, yeah, it just bottomed out all the way around. Okay, so now that's assembled. All right, now we're moving on to, I'll show you in the picture exactly what's going on. This is what we just did. We put the crank and the pistons down into the head. Now we're going to, we just put this together with the cap. Now we need the base, because this I guess is the bottom of the motor. And we're going to put this on. Now in the picture, they're showing the battery case being over here to the left hand side okay and it looks like this is going to go over these four pinholes as you can see on the opposite side there's four of those so just set this down onto that and if i take a quick peek underneath i can see where all of those go inside of the corresponding holes you just gotta <laughs> line them up there we go Okay, so now I'm guessing we're going to need screw B. Um, hold on, we didn't put our screws in everybody. We're gonna take this off for a second. See down in here? We're supposed to put B screws in here first. So we're gonna put these screws in and come back and then we'll put the other cover on. Sorry, getting a little ahead of you. Okay, everybody, we put the screws in like we just said in the bottom. And then once you get this down on, the screws are going to be going into these four holes, the ones in the middle. Ignore the holes on the outside edge. It's only these four right here, okay? And it's going to be the size B screw, which is the larger screw. All right, so this is kind of cool when you look at it from this angle now that we have it, uh, have it together. This is, this is how your pistons work. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat, huh? And what I'm guessing is after this is all together and we put batteries in it, we're going to push that button and watch it make noise. I'm not sure if the motor is going to run and make the pistons move too. If it doesn't, that's even more cool. Okay, so the next thing we're moving on to, everybody, we're going to take a peek here. And we are getting ready to work on the, uh, the head. So this is the head here, all right? So you're going to need the head. You're going to need one of these. And you're going to need one of these okay and after you put this first one together you're going to put the second one together and do the same exact thing that we're showing you here okay so on this head i want you to have it facing the same way i am on one end you're going to have a pin and it's right directly in the middle and on the opposite side there's a pin but it's offset over to the right hold it like this so that the pin in the middle is on your left hand side okay you hold on to this uh will and on this side facing you you're going to have this piece right here. Okay, I'm holding it and showing you exactly how it goes in. You're going to see notches on the side of this. There's one there, one there, and one there. This notch, this notch, and this notch are going to go into these. And then once they're in, you're going to push this down inside because there's a clip right here, here, and here. So let's do that right now. Line it up with the holes. Okay, let me hold it so I can see. Yeah, and if you give it just a little bit of a push, you'll hear it click. Okay, so right now, this side is done. Like I said, it went into the three slots and it clicked in all three. So now I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna do the same thing on this side, only on this side, don't forget I just turned that around. We have this piece here, you hang on to it, Lil? We have this piece here and you can see how it looks okay this is the front front side of it and we're going to do the same thing we're going to drop that down in it's going to go into these three slots and we're just going to give this a little push there that's clicked in all the way across looks good all right so you're going to do the same thing to the other part okay so the next thing we're going to do to these heads is we're going to need both of them with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes facing this side towards you, okay, on both of these. And then we're gonna take the valves, 
that's what these little pieces are. And we're going to take the spring. And we're going to put the spring right on the valve. Okay. And then the eight holes that we see across here, you're going to put that down inside of it like this. Okay, so after you've got all of these put in, you're going to hold it up like this and you're going to push, just push in a couple at a time. And as you're pushing those in, you're going to see where they come through on the bottom. And when they come through, you're going to take these little caps, show them what the little cap looks like. And you're going to put those on the, end, on the ends of all of these, just like this. Give it a little push. And that's going to keep these from coming out. So we just did that one. Okay, so do the same with all the rest and put your caps on all, how many do you have? 16 of them. Okay, so for the next part, I want you to set your motor down in front of you like we have here on the table with the on and off switch sitting on this side and the stem sticking out over here. And then with the head, with the valves on the bottom, um, not up here on the top, you can put it on this side of the motor. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six mounting holes. You're going to use size B screw and you're going to put them down in through here and they're going to connect right here. Okay, so that's just going to sit on here and you're going to screw all six of these on and we're going to do both sides. Okay, so for the next part, we are doing these rods. You're going to find these metal rods, okay? Find the longest one. Okay, Lily, hang on to the instructions. Find the longest rod. And then you're gonna look for, whoops, you're gonna look for these little plastic pieces that look like this, okay? And they are labeled on each of these. Uh, let's see, right on the end, right in this area here, it's gonna tell you. And you're gonna see a little letter, A, B, C, or D. Now, you see the rod, you're gonna put them in order from one end to the other, and it starts D, A, C, B, B, C, A, D. And you're gonna follow that all the way across through here, okay? And you're gonna put all the pieces on in the order that they show you, okay? With the nubs facing out this way. And then you're gonna look for the short rod. Hang on to the book again, Lil. Find the short rod, and then you're gonna take these red pieces, and on the short rod, these are all identical. Okay, so those are all those are all gonna go on like this. And this rod spins free, okay? The pieces that are on this, these do not spin free. They're actually there's a slot on this which is gonna make all these run the valves. Okay, so you'll figure that out once you start sliding them on. Okay, we're gonna dress them up and show you. As you can see, we've got everything together. These are all on, just like they showed in the picture, and just like we showed you. These are my numbers. And these are my letters. And of course, you want to make sure these are turned the right way. So on mine, it's going just like in the picture. From the D, A, C, B, all the way across to this end. Okay? Make sure the motor is sitting here just like we're showing you with the switch on this side. And we're going to grab the letters, okay, for this side. So my letters are here. And we're going to be setting this down into you can see there's a there's a groove all the way across here in the middle and we're going to be setting that down into here and once you're in you'll know because you're going to have a gap here where you see metal here here and here and right now that is in okay it's just sitting there now we're going to turn the page and we are about to so the next thing you're going to do i've got one of these together already is you're going to grab one of these here. As you can see on one side, it's there's open slots. You want the flat side, this side here. Keep the wide side over here to your right. Actually, it doesn't matter really if it's on either side, um, and I'll show you why. So then you're gonna take this, okay, and you're gonna place it on here, but you need to separate these every two so that it will fall. they'll fall into their spot. Okay, Lil, do you wanna hang on to this? Yeah, and I will separate these a little bit. And as I separate them, you're gonna notice it's just gonna fall into where it needs to go. Okay, those are all set. Those are good, those are good. 
and those are good. And once once they're in, they're just going to sit there and they'll and they'll should be in there where they need to be. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this little cap, okay, and that's going to go right on the end. And there's going to be one, two, three, four, five of those. And you're going to put these in with your little tiny screws, the smallest ones that you have, okay, the C's. And we're going to put all our screws in. We'll come back. All right. So for the next part, okay. Motor side still facing you. Uh, motor side. Uh, the side with the buttons is facing you. Grab one of these that you've already put together. With the wider side on the right, it's going to go down onto here. Now, the tricky part is all of these have to be laying like this when you put it on. And it's hard to get them to stay like that. So what I want you to do is bring it down so that all of these are underneath of all the valves. And then put it under like this. Okay? Put them under and then move forward. And as you're moving forward... It flips them all up into the spot where you need them. All right. And then you're going to set this down on. And it's sitting in place right now. And there are six screws. Use B. Here, 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 here. We're going to put screws in all these and tighten it up and then move on to the next step. All right. So for this next part, we're about to put this other rod in, which has the numbers on it. Okay. And to make it easy, the instructions show it doing it from the other side. I want you to turn the motor around, okay? Turn the motor around so that the opposite side is facing you where the button is now missing, okay? And you're going to drop this down in just like we did on the other side. But I want you to turn it around now because we've turned this around. And the number you want to be on this side, hold on, let me look again, is number 8. So the number 8... Is right here number eight is on this side working down to number one so you're gonna separate these a little bit like we did before so if they drop in bring these over bring these over okay I think I'm I think it's in right little mm -hmm. yeah looks like it yeah it's set in you're gonna have that gap a gap and a gap and then make the rod about the same length because that does push in and out okay so once that is set then you're gonna take this same idea as before this is the wide side this is the wide side this is the skinny skinny side and that's going to set right on you're gonna do the same thing you did the last time get all these to flip a little bit so that they're down all right like that and run these under here just like this and then lift and it should drop right into its spot and you're going to do the same thing on this side one two three four five six of the b screw and we'll be back all right so we're back we're going to and i want i'm going to show you a close-up of what the next piece is that we're doing so the motor is still is facing, we turned it back around. This is the side with the button, okay? This is the end. Lily's going to hold it right there for me. And then I want you to grab a ge grab these red gears, okay? These are both the uh, solid gears. And they're going to go on to these two ends right here. So one's going to go on here. One's going to go on here. You spin it and you'll, it'll, it'll drop on once you hit the right spot. Try to keep it right there a little so the rods don't fall out. And then this, see how that looks? With the out with the concave out, is gonna go right there. Alright, now we're gonna set this down. And turn the page. Hold it up again, Lil. Right there. And we're gonna grab these other four gears, all right? And these four gears are gonna go on to these four stems right here. Let's see, make sure it's the top ones. Yep, all the top ones. So one on here. Let me make sure, yep, one there. One there. 
one there, and one right there. And if you did that correctly, there'll be one, two, three, four empty spots. You're going to leave these empty for right now. All right. And then we're going to hold it, hold it right there a little. The next thing they're showing is this belt. <laughs> this belt looks like it's a little bit tricky. So the belt, you're going to start across the top here, right there, and one there. Okay. Then it goes in through here, down around the bottom. Let's see if I can do this without this all falling apart. Let's put this on here first, like that. Okay. I think we got it so far. Hold it right where you have it, Lil. Once I bring this through here, and then back up on, then you're going to bring this piece here down onto the bottom side of these two gears okay I had the feeling that was gonna fall off so I think the best thing to do is to take this gear off for now feed that belt in around everything that you need to like I just did okay and then the belt will stay in its place how are we doing you can see how that has zigzagged through right there hold it right there Lil and now we're gonna put this gear back on. I'm able to pull that all a little bit tighter. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Hold on, we almost got it. Let me put that gear back on. Right there. Okay, tilt down right there, that's good. If you tilt back too far, the um, yeah, there's got to be an easier way to put this belt on. You wait just a sec. I've almost got it. <laughs> We're going to put this back on after. That would have probably been the, the better one to take off instead of this bigger one. Uh, all right. The belt is on. We just got to get this gear on right here. Right there. Because the belt does have to have tension in order for all this stuff to spin. Okay, so the belt's on. Everything's in place. Um, we're gonna set this down. Let me show you a close up again of what it needs to look like. See how that is fed on. Set that down for a second and we're gonna look on to the next spot. Next part is I want you to grab your fan. Hold it with the uh, empty side here and you're gonna find this disc with the little stem. Keep the stem facing out and you're gonna line it up with the holes that they show here hold on let me line it up here and you're going to use size b screws to hold that to put into all three of these holes all right so the next part is you're going to need the little tiny belt all right and that little tiny belt is going to go around the little indent right here on the fan okay you can see the belt's on then you're going to grab this there's an inside part and an outside you're going to put this through the outside part okay that hole right there is going to go right there okay and that's the back side of it and now you're going to use we only had one screw like this it has a washer attached to it okay that screw the washer is going to go in here to tighten this up so we're going to go ahead and put that on now okay so for the next part like I said, after you get the screw on, that's going to be mounted, okay? And then, Lil, I'm going to have you hold the motor. Here's the motor. Let's hold it just like that right there. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you're going to take your fan and that whole piece, and it's going to slide right over the top of this. And you're going to see where all these pins come out. you got two pins here and this one. They're going to go into the, the holes where this goes. So... If I line this up just right, it should go on. Okay, let go a little. And I am. I am on right now. Okay, so now let's flip the page and see what comes next. That's just sitting on there. 
And what they want us to do is take number B screws and we're going to be putting a screw, let's see if we can show you, there's four spots. You're going to see four empty holes. There's only four of them. One here, here on the, two on the bottom and two on the top. We're going to put our screws in right now, size B. Okay, now we've tightened all these four screws in like we said on the shroud. Next thing we're going to do, you need to find this little gear piece here, okay? And that's going to go on the bottom of the motor right here where this belt is going to attach. So you're going to slide this on, put the belt on it, then slide it onto this little piston, and then you're going to put it in and tighten it up with a C screw, which is one of the smaller screws. Okay, so we're going to do that right now. So like I said, once this is on, you can take the belt and feed the belt on uh, by hand. Okay, now for the next part, we're going to turn the motor around. Okay, Lil, I want you to hold the motor right there because we're going to be putting this on. Okay. This has two little holes in the back that are going to go on to these pegs. Now these, pe these pins may not line up because they're, they're geared, which means there's a flat spot on it. So you're going to put this on, okay, try to put it on and then come over here, hang on to it, you got it? <laughs> yeah. Come over here and you're going to spin this until it goes into this hole. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it right now and see if it works. So right now, right now it doesn't want to go because it's not lined up. But if I turn that there, it just went on. Now I'm gonna come over to this one, put it in, put a little bit of pressure, and I'm gonna turn it. Oh, and then that one went. Okay, so now they're both now they're both into position, and I'm gonna clean up my wires here and we'll figure out uh, how it actually gets mounted on. Hold on, I think it shows me right here in the next page, yep. So after you get this on and it goes in all the way flush, once you get this on, it goes all the way flush, make sure these wires are down out of your way, okay? Make sure they're hanging down here free, just like that. And you're going to put, yeah, that's on all the way. Your screws are gonna go in right here. Okay, and there's going to be one, two, three, four, and they're all B. So right now, grab your B screw and put them in here and tighten them. You're going to find the very last gear, the last black gear that we have. Okay, and with this side facing out, it's going to slide over this square shaft on the bottom. Okay with the gears out, not with the gear close to the thing, with the gear out. Then you're going to take the, the motor, okay, keep these wires out of your way, and the motor is going to go right over the top of this. See this little pin in the middle? Have I got this right? Yep, yeah, up, that goes there. That little pin is going to go inside the hole right here. Okay, so if you line everything up just right, it should sit right on just like, just like that. And once you've got this in place, you've got one, two, three spots, and you're going to tighten them in with the B, okay? Size B screw in all three of these spots. All right, and the very next thing we're going to do, same end of the motor, you got this big black cap, okay? And this can only go on one way. Let me take a look here and see. Okay, you've got this notch that's completely missing out of this. That's going to go along the bottom. So it's going to go just like so. See, the bottom half that's missing, it's going to go just like this. Now, we've got this black wire. What are we supposed to do with that black wire? No place for it to go there. Oh, it's just going to hang out of the side right there. Okay, so that's pretty simple. This goes on, it hangs out the side, and you can see there's a hole here and a hole here, and you're going to put size B screws to hold this on. Size B. What we have now, fan side sitting over here. Lily, hang on to the motor. Okay, so on this one side of the motor, you have 
these four cords coming out. These are actually lights. These are gonna light up once you get them in the motor and everything's turned on. So find the shortest one. And if you can see there's four holes here. And if you look inside, which you might not be able to tell on the camera, if you look inside that hole, there's another little hole inside there that you're going to put this light inside of. So I'm looking in right now and I can see a little spot for a light to go in. So I'm just sticking it in there. Now I'm gonna grab the next longest one and you're gonna see the hole and you're just gonna put it in to that hole as far as you can. Do the same to the next one, the next longest cord. And the last one will be your longest cord, it goes all the way to the end. All right, and then just set it in. And then these cables, if you want, bring them up, bring them up into the high spot. You're gonna grab one of these guards. Only one guard is gonna fit, so you'll know when you look. If it doesn't line up, see these tabs right here? There's two little tabs. If those don't line up, then you need the other cap. So it's, it's pretty simple. So try to get all the wires in there. And then you're gonna bring this up. And put it in the holes first. Put the wires down and you got the motor wheel. <laughs> Try to hide the wires down in there best you can. Try not to pinch anything. Actually, you know what? I think it's better to just let the wires hang on the bottom. That way there, you're not gonna They've got just a little bit of a space for them because I don't want to pinch any of them. Actually, hold on. I'll come back. I'm going to put this on because it does need some finessing, but you, you'll figure it out. It's not that hard. Okay. So like I said, get those wires. I'm, now I'm on the opposite side. Make sure these wires are coming up into here and they all tuck in and make sure that there's none sticking out anywhere around the edge before you pop that on. It's, you it does take some finessing to get the wires in there, but it will work. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, Lily, hold this for me right there. Yep. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your valve covers, there's two of them, okay? Two valve covers, wide part goes up at the top. And these are just gonna sit on here like this. And there's six screws, one, two, three, four, five, six. And they want you to use Hold on a sec. C, which is the smallest screw. So do this side, and then you've got another one of these, and go do the opposite side, okay? And the next thing they want us to do is, Lily, hold this upside down. They want us to put the batteries in. I mean, I still see, we still have two pieces here which haven't gone on yet. We still have these here, but I'm guessing they want us to put the batteries in and try this out so that we can see stuff moving. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what we're gonna do right now. So you need three, Double A batteries. Three double A's. Don't forget everybody, um, if you wanna buy one of these, go ahead and look down in the description you'll see a link that will take you to Amazon to buy it. And there might even be a promo code there to get it a little bit at a lower cost. All right, and all the links, different links down in the description for plays if you wanna follow them. All right, so right now we've got, uh, we'll put the batteries in. We've got these two cords that are sitting out all by themselves and they want us to Hit the button. You want to go ahead and hit it, Lil? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like an engine running. So our engine is purring like a baby. <laughs> okay. Oh, so you hit it again, it shuts the sound off. Okay, so now... <laughs> In the picture, 37, it shows us to hit the button. We did, it made noise. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if this other stuff here is supposed to be turning and spinning or, or running and moving, did it, when we turned the button on? No. Um, I'm wondering what's supposed to make that all start up. Okay, I'm not 100% sure if this, yeah, they made it look like if we hit the button, yeah, they're showing one of these cords being plugged in. Okay, so let's plug that cord in, Lil. Where? 
Hold on. Are those both the oh. same cords? Oh, there are two. There's two. <laughs> but only one of them's plugged in. So hold on. We need to plug in this motor. So take the cord that's coming out of this. The cord that's coming out of there. Take the cord that's coming out of oh, this. Okay. And plug that into the furthest one over. Oh, we got it. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so plugging that cord in started all the valves. I'm going to quiet it down so you can see the valves. All the valves are working. That is pretty cool. All the pistons. If you look down in here, you can see the pistons are moving as well. Engines revving up like crazy. That was pretty cool, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. All the parts are moving like it's supposed to. Um, I don't think we're done yet. There's still another cord sitting here to plug in. Let me turn it around. Now I'll plug in the this one? second cord, yep. Okay. And that's gonna put fire to the valves, I think. Oh. Careful. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. So if we hit the button again. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're firing up. Let me shut this light off. Oh, that's so cool. And all the. They're all firing. That's pretty cool. That is. <laughs> that is really neat. Okay, let's turn our uh, let's turn our light back on. Yeah, so let's see what's left. So all they want us to do that's left is put this down in. Okay, you're gonna put that down in like I just did. That's held in with your leftover B screws. Okay, so use B. And then after that is tightened down, you put the cap on. Go ahead and put that on, Lil. And that's gonna go turn it around. Uh oh. That's gonna go on just like so with also with B screws. And that is it, everybody. So like I said, put this down in, tighten all four screws in with, with Bs, put this down on, tighten that down in with the B screws, and your project is complete. I want to thank my helper, Lily Poulin. And like I said, if you enjoyed watching us, please give a like. Please share with one friend that you think would like something like this. And uh, if you're looking for something to do at home, this is great. This probably would have gone a little faster if um, I had more patience. <laughs> but other than that, we had a great time working on it. Um, everything's here. I'm going to end up having a few screws left over. I'm going to have two of these little springs left over. So they did give extra parts. The C screws, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five of those left over. So don't worry, you're going to end up with maybe some extra stuff if you're lucky too. So yeah, like I said, go down in the description to buy it. Get your discount if there's one down in there. And uh, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. See ya. See ya.